here, uh, is, is even one C enough to prevent me from actually getting in and going to medical school? Or is it two, or is it three? What does that look like? Well, as I said, uh, initially, it's a holistic review process. So if, if someone has a C or two, um, it, it, that's not going to prevent them from be getting a close look. We read everyone's application. Uh, if there's a pattern of C's, mm -hmm. then at some point, you know, you have to think, okay, this, there are plenty of students who don't have multiple C's, but if they've had a C or even a second C or even a D, dare I say, uh, that's not going to um, eliminate them from consideration for an interview at least mm -hmm. because an interview is not an admission offer. It's just an interview. So what would you need to see to counterbalance that then? If you were concerned about a D or a C or multiple C's potentially on their, on their transcripts, mm -hmm. what would you look for to encourage you to invite them to an interview? Well, I would hope that um, their, their letters of recommendation, particularly if they have a committee letter, will address any blips in their uh, record, number one. Number two, I'd like to see at what point did they have the C. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about uh, an upward trend or trajectory. Mm -hmm. So if you had a, an indifferent freshman year experience and then you caught on and performed uh, significantly better each succeeding year and your courses also got more challenging and yet you continue to do well, that bodes well for you. But again, that needs to be somewhat addressed in the letter of recommendation. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's, you, know, you may get an interview. That may be a question mm -hmm. that will be uh, asked by your interviewer, which is a perfectly legitimate thing to ask an interviewee um, because we want to know what they learned from that experience and how did they uh, remedy any um, less than stellar grades. Mm -hmm. And I expect that as the interviewer, if you would ask that, you'd expect a a uh, very strong response and explanation absolutely, of why absolutely, that was, why that or happens. a genuine response. Yes, a genuine response, something that they clearly have uh, um, come to terms with and can demonstrate that yes, there was a problem, but I've overcome that problem. Absolutely, and succeeding grades will, in in most cases, um, uh, testify to that.